Well, hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I am a regular dude walking in the Word. Hey, I'm glad you joined me. I am actually at Can and a, a battlefield of uh, Chickamauga, and so this is an appropriate um, area to be doing uh, these four episodes. I'm going to be doing four episodes on quotes from Caleb. Caleb is really a hero of mine. And as we talk about Caleb, Caleb is in, uh, listed in the book of Joshua. Caleb, remember, was one of the 12 spies with Joshua that were originally sent into the Promised Land. When they were sent into the Promised Land, there was only two good spies that came back with a good report, and that was Joshua and Caleb. We are now at the point where, Ka where they're divvying up the land, and Joshua and Caleb are the only two guys that survived um, that whole generation, okay? The rest of the spies died in pretty much immediately. And then that whole generation died off as they were wandering in the wilderness for 40 years. Now we're at the point where um, they're dividing up the land. And so Josh, uh, Joshua, uh, as they're dividing up the land, Caleb comes and says, hey, um, the land that uh, is being divvied up I want this this land and this is the land that was promised to me and you're gonna find out it was in the hill country it was tough to get to and uh, so forth and we're in well, we did some touring here today um, in Chickamauga which is uh, uh, south of Chattanooga and um, it was a tough area to fight it was many it was uh, Confederate soldiers and Union soldiers uh, that were in battle there and it was a tough area uh, because it's you can see it's all wooded around here. You can't see it because I'm standing. I'm standing right in front of a monument There's monuments all over the place here But um, it's a tough area to fight. Okay, so anyway, I wanted to have four, I'm doing this this series here of four quotes from Caleb the first one today is I Followed the Lord wholeheartedly that was one quote. He said um, and it's it's true um, he did follow the Lord wholeheartedly so let me read here today I'm gonna to read from Joshua chapter 14 verses 6 all the way through let me see here 15 now the people of Judah approached Joshua Gilgal and Caleb son of Jephunneh, the Kenizzite and said to him you know what the Lord said to Moses the man of God at Kadesh Barnea about you and me I was 40 years old when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadesh Barnea to explore the land, and I brought him back a report according to my convictions. But my fellow Israelites who went up with me made the hearts of the people melt in fear. I, however, followed the Lord my God wholeheartedly. Right there it is. I followed the Lord wholeheartedly. So on that day Moses swore to me, the land on which your feet have walked will be your inheritance and that of your children forever. Because you have followed the Lord, my God, wholeheartedly. <laughs> Joshua is saying this. You know, God had said this uh, to Joshua, you know, and, and Caleb. The land that you walked, that's going to be your inheritance. Because you followed the Lord wholeheartedly. So, it's not just Caleb saying it. It's, you know, God is saying this too. Um, verse 10. Now then, just as the Lord promised, he has kept me alive for 45 years since the time he has said this to Moses while Israel moved about in the wilderness. So here I am today, 85 years old. I'm still as strong today as the day Moses sent me out. I'm just as vigorous to go out to battle now as I was then. Now give me this hill country that the Lord promised me that day. You yourself heard then that the Anakites were there and their cities were large and fortified. But the Lord helping me, I will drive them out just as he said. Then Joshua blessed Caleb, son of Jephunneh, and gave him Hebron as an inheritance. So Hebron has belonged to Caleb, son of Jephunneh, the Kenizzite, ever since, because he followed the Lord, the God of Israel, wholeheartedly. There it is again. And, it, you know, it's not Caleb saying it this time. Um, this is Joshua as he's writing it, you know. Uh, he followed the Lord, the God of Israel, wholeheartedly. All right. Hebron used to be called Kedoth Arab after Ereba, uh, who was the greatest man among the Anakites. Then the land had rest from war. What I want you to see from this whole thing is, uh, Caleb says this about himself, he, he was confident in that, and then others said it about him. He followed the Lord wholeheartedly. It wasn't just halfway. It wasn't like, oh, you know, well, you know one day a week I'll follow the Lord. It was all the time he was following the Lord wholeheartedly. That was his heart, 
wholeheartedly. I'm giving everything to God. My question for you, is that the way you live? Are you following the Lord wholeheartedly? Or is it like, mm, I'll do it on, I'll, I'll follow the Lord on Sunday or I'll, I'll do Saturday and Sunday. Um, but are you following the Lord wholeheartedly? That's the thing. And that's what set Caleb apart from everybody else. Those 12 spies, Joshua and Caleb, were the only ones that were following the Lord, Lord wholeheartedly. And you're going to see as we continue that story of Caleb and how he continues uh, that f strong faith in God. St following the Lord wholeheartedly. So I encourage you, be one of those guys or ladies that follows the Lord wholeheartedly. Let me pray. Lord God, thank you for who you are. And I pray that you would help us to be people that full follow you wholeheartedly and give everything we have to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, thanks for watching. I am a regular dude walking in the Word. And I invite you to join me for the next uh, several episodes as we continue looking at Joshua, but uh, specifically the story of Caleb. And there's four quotes that Caleb had, and I want you to pay attention to those. Lord's blessing. I'll see you tomorrow.